Oh, what a night. Yeah, I know, right, Foxy? Hey, Chica, what do you think of tonight? I'm genuinely traumatized on what happened. The explosion, yes, I know, that was crazy. A lot more crazier than we thought. Luckily, the magical engine, um, fixed up the buffers. True. Oh, man, the railway bulls tomorrow night. I'm so excited. True, Freddy. Well, I'm going to go lie down. This is great. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the next morning, well, the day after tomorrow, we have to leave Sodor. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Are you guys okay? Yes, yeah, Springtrap. You still want to sleep in, in? You still want to sleep outside? Yes. You, you want to sleep in here for a change? No, I like sleeping out in the open night sky. Okay. Last chance, Springtrap. This is a limited time offer. I swear, Bonnie, I don't want to sleep in the indoors. I want to sleep in the outdoors. That's what I'm used to. All right, let, me, let me look at the weather. Oh, okay. It's sunny all week. All right, you can sleep outside. All right, good night. Good night, Springtrap. Good night. And I'll see you all at the Railway Bowl tomorrow. It's strange of you, even though you look scary, but we will warn everybody. Well, everything's all gonna be good tonight. It's gonna be a hard work tomorrow. Alright, let's go to sleep. That's the most offensive thing, is it? Yeah, the party's today. Well, tonight at least. I'll be right back. I, I gotta go take a poo. You're gonna take a poop? Yeah. Alright then. Hey guys! Oh hey, oh hey Freddy! What's up? Where's Chica? Is she sleeping late again? No, she just got up. Here I am. Oh hello Chica. The party's today, huh? Yep, that's right Springtrap. So, this is gonna be a great night. Yep. Mr. Fazbear? Oh, what's up Butler? I need you. Oh, right! Coming! I heard Springtrap's here! Oh, Gunzo, make sure you use small words. He is a bit slow this morning. But slow? No, I'm fine! I can do with big words. Okay. It is the special food for the bowl, Mr. Fazbear? Oh, yes, I... Mmm, this is good! What would this be? That will be the dog's breakfast, Mr. Fazbear. Ah, oh, yes, yes, very good! <laughs> Blah. That's disgusting. I don't want a berry dog food. Um, Freddy, have you seen Thomas? Oh, no, I haven't. Well, it seems like you changed your mind about leaving. Yeah, because I know the Magic Railroad exists. But what do you expect, Freddy? The magic is real on Sodor. Yeah, everyone on Sodor accepts the way, the way you guys are, Chica. That's true. Yeah. Sir Tom Hatt was excited. Yep. Well, let's just keep working on this area. Oh. By the way, guys, where's Thomas? I think he's working with his friends. Yeah, most likely. Most likely. Well, you know he's a busy engine. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Bill! Which way do we go? How can you turn, Ben? It's on straight! You two stop arguing. Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's go! Well, it's gonna be a big day. The railway bowl is tonight. Well, you didn't say that Mr. Fazbear would be the special guest of tonight. And Donald, 
You thought that Freddy would be a knuckle nuisance. Well, Douglas, I really don't know um, on how, how Sodor would be without Freddy Fazbear. Well, without Freddy, Sodor would be in ruins. You're indeed right, Thomas. We heard what happened last night. Well, surely without Freddy, this island would never been the same. Well, let's go. Thomas, I dropped off the children from school. And Sir Tom Hat wants you to pick up the passengers for the railway bowl later in the evening. I guess he's excited. I'm very excited too, Mr. Oliver. Hello, James, said Thomas. Feeling better? That's good. Oh, that's my conductor's whistle. I must go. I don't know what Sir Topham Hatt would do without me to run this branch line. I was going to tell him that I was sick a little. Well, I got to get back to work for the railway pole. On the island of Sodor, it was the busiest time for the other engines. Keep up the good work, Edward. After everybody got done with their job, it was time for the Railway Bowl. Welcome everybody to the Railway Bowl in the celebration of the 35th anniversary of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. We have our special guesses. Freddy Fazbear, Bonnie the Bunny, Chica the Chicken, and Foxy the Pirate Fox. And, and introduced, oh, and introduced by the Great Gunzo. Hi everybody, I am the Great Gunzo. I mainly the night guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Because I'm like, I'm kind of retired from the Muppet Show, but that doesn't matter. So, welcome to the 35th anniversary of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. This is only exclusive to Sodor and to Sodor Island only. Well, you already know that. So, we're very excited to come here. We've been waiting for days for it. Days! We worked hard. But we finally got it done. So we'd like to introduce to you Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. Enjoy the show. All right, everyone. This is a uh, this is an oldie. Um, well, it, it's an oldie where I come from. Okay, guys, make sure you keep up the lyrics. So, so make sure everything is correct, okay? Yes, yes, Freddy. I, okay, Freddy. We will do what we can. Alright, good. Okay. Now, the, oh! Sorry, I'm late. Oh, hey, Springtrap, I never thought you would come. Oh, yeah, sorry, everybody. Um... Springtrap was supposed to start the music. Yeah, um... Yeah, we'll start the music in a moment. Freddy, I have to say, I'm very proud of you for saving Sodor. Well, not only me, it was Kale, Lightning McQueen, and Thomas. So, practically, we saved Sodor. Oh, yeah. So, let's start. One, two, three. Why are you spring drop? Oh yeah, sorry, Sir Topham Hat. I'll let you speak. Before we begin the music, we just want to give... We, we, we want to give... We, we want to take a bow. Before we begin the music, I just want to give a bow to Lightning McQueen, 
Thomas the Tank Engine, Kale Tucker, and Freddy Fazbear for saving my island. And let me just say, let's give the four heroes a hand. Can I just say one thing, Sir Topham Hat? There would be no Sword War without you, Sir Topham Hat, and Thomas, of course. And the four heroes of Sodor, the four heroes would not work without Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> I know, sir. I know Springtrap. I know Springtrap. <laughs> You're trying to make me cry on stage. Hi, right, everyone. Clap for me. Everyone take a bow to Freddy Fazbear! <laughs> I am so honored to be at Sodor! Me too, Freddy. Me three! Oh, my heart is beating in joy! <laughs> Guys, I'm letting out tears of joy! I never felt this good in a long time, guys. I agree. Well, I'm very happy for Freddy, but I sure wish Freddy would become the conductor. I think he will soon. Alright, guys. Enough messing around. Let's actually get to playing the music. Okay. Alright, guys. Ready? Ready. Okay. One, two, three, four. Well, sir, it's a very sad day on the island of Sodor. It's unfortunate that Freddy Fazbear is not going to stay here much longer. Oh, come on. There's always a next time that he could stay here longer. The railway ball was amazing last night. He certainly did make my day. I know that, sir. But will we ever see these guys again? Of course we'll see them again. If he writes a letter to me. <laughs> oh, sir, I really hate to see Kale, Lady McQueen, and Freddy leave. But we'll see them again. Next time. I know. I can declare that the Railway Bowl on the celebration of Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria reached to its 30th year anniversary. A success. If only Freddy was here... I would tell him how much of a good job he did. Well, if he was here, I would say thanks to him. Right, Sir Tom Hat, wherever you are, I agree with you. Thank you. <sighs> well, I'm really gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna miss you too, Freddy. Even though Stiff doesn't know you that much, considering that you'd met her bef a day before you went into the Magic Buffers. Yeah, well, we can always just come down to your pizzeria and try out the famous foods you have. And what? where's Thomas? I want to say goodbye to him. Well, I'm pretty sure Mater can spread that message to Thomas because Thomas is a little busy. Goodbye. I never knew coming to Sodor and meeting you guys would be so important in my life. It really did change my life, guys. I know, Freddy. It, it's super life-changing. And Freddy, if you ever need me, you can call me anytime you want. And we'll come over. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun while it lasted, Freddy. Yep. So long, Freddy Fazbear. So long, Kale Tucker. All right, let's go home. Well, I'm gonna miss these tracks. Oh! Let's just get to the point, Breed. Yeah, let's go back to the ship. Oh, I'm really gonna miss this place so much. I'll probably never see that animatronic bear again, maybe. 
Uh, we'll meet each other again, Freddy. What's wrong with you? Oh, crap, Wed. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Yes. Goodbye, Freddy Fazbear. We'll meet each other again. Goodbye, guys. I'm gonna miss them, Freddy. I'm gonna miss them too. Me three. Me four. Me five. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Chica? I always cry when someone that I love leaves. Yeah, I know how, th how that feels, Chica. Yeah, I know too. Everyone knows that. <sighs> I hate to say goodbye, Freddy. I know. Well, good thing that we can go inside a bulgy and head to the boat. And so these. <laughs> things a lot. Next up, random dots. Oh, I can't believe we're leaving this island. I know. Is there someone else that you could say goodbye to? Say goodbye to who? The duo charges? <laughs> no way. I can be pulled by Gordon like I care. What about Jimmy? That tank engine that you named after. You know, when the f uh, the day before I started working. Hey. Hey, what a good idea! Yeah! Hey, Bulgy, stop! Stop right there! Oh, what now? Trust me, Bulgy, it's really important. <gasps> Jimmy! Okay. Jimmy? I'm sorry I don't use you that, that often. Um... If you ever get in charge to another driver or something, tell Twisted Wolf to, to meet you back at America, okay? And... I'm sorry I don't get to use you that often. Because... I saw Thomas. And... I just want to say goodbye. And... I wish you could speak one day. And... I'm really gonna miss you, Jimmy. I hope you can speak someday. And I just want to say, this is goodbye. I'm really gonna miss this place. will meet me again, Mr. Fazbear. Did you say goodbye to Jimmy, Freddy? Yes, I did. Thank gosh. And you know what? I got you after- Ooh! Gotta be more careful with that, that bus and cut doors. <laughs> Ding! Alright, let's go! Okay, Bulgy. We're ready. Well, it's about freaking time. Hey, Thomas. I just got back from the Steamworks. And look who's behind me. Oh, hello, Thomas. How are you doing? Hello, Charlie. How was the recovery? Uh, it was a little bit rough, Thomas. But I'm still recovering a little bit. But... When I get recovered by tomorrow, we'll have another race together. Would you like that? Yes, Charlie. That would sound fun. All right, now you excuse me, Thomas. Um, I gotta bring Charlie back to his shed because Rosie needs to take care of him a little bit. See you tomorrow, Thomas. So, Eddie and Clownball, do you two think that Freddy will come back to Sodor? If I ever get sick again, will you girls be with Daisy? We won't stay here with her to be insulted. I'll make 
make sure I have Percy to keep you two company. But let's take these passengers into another station. Oh, hello! I was just, uh, I really shook it going. How did that little tank engine get so smart? <laughs> Let's go home! Let's go! What's on my schedule when we come back to the pizzeria? I don't know. What do you say we go out of a restaurant? That's a good idea. How about Chuck E. Cheese? I like Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, is that necessary, Freddy? Is that even legal? Hmm, I'm pretty sure there's some places that don't allow animatronics. <laughs> uh, you're acting a bit complicated, Freddy. Oh, things are complicated. <laughs> Just like Thomas.